Okay, ancient China. I studied abroad in China. I got this. Architecture, language, inventions, Confucius, martial arts. What? And maybe how the rest of the world interacted with China. And I can't forget myths and legends. Would it make sense to talk about the dynasties before or after that? But then... Whoa, oh, what are you working on? Oh, hey, awesome, you're here. I'm trying to come up with the content and skills for this neat unit I'm trying to teach on ancient China. But it looks like you've got enough information to develop your own year-long course. Isn't this just a three-week unit? Yeah, it is. But how am I supposed to keep it focused? This is all so awesome. Well, it helps to know your overall goals for the unit. Oh, I do have my essential questions and understandings developed. Great! That's a solid first step. When you're developing the content and skills for your units, begin by asking yourself what activities, key ideas, and experiences will help my students think about and engage with the essential question. Okay, well, content as in the stuff we teach, right? Exactly. Content is the noun of what we teach, the topics, what students should know. If students should know these things, I should probably be able to put it in kid-friendly language, right? Absolutely. I think I'm struggling to pinpoint my content because my topic of ancient Chinese dynasties is vague. What if I said ancient Chinese dynasties and their effect on modern-day China? That sounds great! And from there we can get more and more specific. Think of vocabulary, key ideas, and major concepts you want your students to know about that particular topic. Then if content represents the noun of what we teach, then we could say skills are the verbs? Yep. Skills are what students should be able to do. Like the content we teach, skills should tie in with the essential questions and understandings, as well as the standards. They should also be something measurable. Words like know, understand, show, and use are some commonly used vague terms for skills, but we should try to think of more specific vocabulary, key concepts, or ideas. Because they should be measurable. We should use active verbs like create instead of know or justify instead of understand? Exactly. You can think of content and skills like two sides of the same coin, yin and yang. Content is that theoretical knowledge, and skills provide students the ability to use and apply that information. You need both of them working together to create an effective unit plan. Now, let's talk really quickly about your unit here, because I see you're falling into one of the major challenges of articulating content and skills, and that's... Having way too many. Yeah, making sure to self-edit is critical. Keep asking yourself, do my students need to know this? Will this help my students respond to the essential question in a more informed manner? Or is this imperative for my students to master the standards? Oh, well, what's more important? Is it better for my students to know a lot about ancient China, or is it better to get more specific? You know your students and content best. When looking at content and skills, you want to strike a balance between the two. Okay, I want to start with the Han Dynasty. What should I do after that? Or maybe I could get more specific. Like... Like the Han Dynasty's influence on modern China? Yeah, and just identify exactly what they need to know to make the connection between the two and talk about it. Think of specific vocab, answerable questions, key concepts and ideas. Start broad, for example with the Han Dynasty, and get more and more specific. Same with skills. Think of what you want them to be able to do with this information and get specific with exactly how they'll go about doing it. As you brainstorm, just continue to revise because, as we know, developing curriculum is an ongoing process. Great. When I'm done teaching all of this, I should go back and reflect on what we did. Maybe see if there are ways to improve my instruction? Right. See if there are any content or skills you'd like to add, remove, or even shift to another, more relevant unit. It's a great way to ensure you're getting the most out of your teaching. Once I'm done looking back on it, I can also make sure the assessments match everything I taught. But can I still watch kung fu movies and call it prep? Well, we can talk about that. Thanks. Of course. Now, teach! teach.